Today we'll be taking a look at XRP coin. We're going to be performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go in the near future. Let's get into it. How's it going guys? Ryan here. Welcome back to another crypto video. We are taking another look at the XRP coin which has been created by Ripple. It's been about a week since we last looked into it so I wanted to revisit it to see what exactly has happened over the past week from a price perspective. We're going to be using technical analysis in order to make some predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go in the near future. But before we get into all that good stuff guys, please remember to leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy today's video and if you want to see more of this sort of content hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, investing and wealth management. And of course, I'd love to know your thoughts on XRP and the direction it's going down in the comments section below. But without any further ado, let's jump into the computer and start today's analysis. Welcome into the XRP chart. If you're looking to buy XRP or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links in the description of today's video. And as I mentioned, the last time we took a look at XRP was a week ago on this day where we did have a bit of a boost, as you can see, in the value of the coin, which is great. But of course, we have unfortunately now fallen down to a point of 0.93. But what is interesting is if you recall back to our last video, we are sitting smack bang in the middle of our key points from a resistance and support perspective. We're sitting at $1 from a resistance perspective and we are still maintaining above our key point down here for support of around 86 cents. So good stuff there guys, as you can see in the past, obviously many of these prices have been hit before on multiple occasions. So this is effectively now acting as a bit of a sideways trading channel for us. So we've come into it, we've gone up, tested, come back down and tested once again yesterday, come back down again. And hopefully what we're going to see is another test of that top end one dollar once again. But obviously it looks like at this point in time, we are moving in a sideways direction. What is interesting as well is that the volume has been decreasing over this period as well, indicating that maybe we are seeing a bit of consolidation occur at this point in time. Now, from a trend perspective, can we put anything in place? Well, it's quite hard to, but I do think overall we could do something like this. Uh, it looks like we may have broken above a short term downtrend, which we had unfortunately seeing in that sort of manner broken out from it and are sitting now where we are. But all in all, we're still in the trading channel. So that's really what we're focus is on. The key focus is hitting that $1 mark. Now, what's really going to come into play is our moving averages today. So let's bring those three in for us. So we're going to have our short term 20 day moving average. We're going to have our longer term 50 day moving average and our real, real long-term 200-day moving average finally as well. And at the moment, funnily enough, the moving average which is playing the biggest role at the moment is that 200-day. Now, it's come up basically to where we are, and you can see it's now acting as basically a point of resistance now. All the price actions drop below our three key moving averages and at the bottom of those is the 200 day, which is sitting at 96 cents. We almost touched that today, but unfortunately didn't manage to break through it. Similarly, yesterday and all the days prior, we basically, with the exception of the 28, touched that point, but have not been able to break through it. So I think in order to test this $1 mark, we need some confirmation and a clear test and breakthrough of this point at 96 cents, which is our 200 day moving average. Furthermore, we now have the 20 day moving average, which has obviously had the death cross occur. Not great, but also it has come down smack bang on our $1 resistance mark as well. So 
right here in this sort of a channel, we have a very, very large point of resistance. If we manage to break through this from a price perspective, it will be hard, but if we do, we are seeing some really good signs for XRP in the short term future. And of course, if we do manage to break through, we will start going up to our next point, which is roughly at this $1.07 mark. So yes, it will hit that, then potentially, you know, the 50 day moving average. But of course, we need to see this 200 day and this 20 day slash our top end resistance at $1 cracked before these can even come onto the radar. So let's bring in the MACD right now. Bringing that one in, you can see that these two EMAs are moving much closer together. The 12 day EMA looks like potentially in the next week, it could cross the 26 day EMA in this sort of a fashion, indicating that we are having a change in direction of the price. This is obviously even more obvious by the fact that we're seeing a reduction in these candles here. And hopefully we'll see green based on just looking at the rate these are going. I suspect in about three days time, we will start seeing some decent green occurring and potentially some increases in the overall value of XRP with it. Now, yes, as I mentioned before, this is fantastic, but we still need to break the key points of resistance on the actual chart itself. But keep an eye out there. We're about to see a cross on the MACD, hopefully if all things go well. Next, let's bring in our RSI to see what is the buying and selling action. You can see we're currently sitting at 42.32 on the chart right now. So we are really quite close to the middle, but at the same time, we are more closer to the oversold side, meaning that we have plenty of room to move in an upwards direction should we need to. So hopefully we do see something like that occur. Everything at the moment from a peripheral perspective, when we're talking MACD, when we're talking RSI, is lining up to show us that yes, we are potentially in for a breakout. Now, finally, I just want to bring in one more indicator, and this is one that I don't typically use, but it shows us consolidation, basically, and it's a Bollinger Band. As you can see, when something consolidates, the Bollinger Bands, top end, bottom end, they get tighter. You can see it got tight here, then it had to break, and unfortunately for us, it broke down. It was just not good timing. You can see over here, same thing got tight, but we managed to start going up from that point. What we're hoping to see is these bands, the top end of this band come in to hopefully this resistance point at 1.7. And obviously as well, we want to see the bottom band come up to the 86 point or higher, getting smaller, 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 showing us that we are going to break out as well. You can see it got quite tight over here on the 26 compared to, I suppose, where it was previously, so we are slowly seeing that consolidation occur. The less up and down we see, the tighter these are going to get, so keep an eye on those ones for sure. But overall, what is my price prediction for the video? It's going to be the same. It's $1. We really need to crack that $1 mark. It is possible to crack. We are very close. Now, we have been testing that point over the past week. So it is feasible for this to occur with XRP. Once $1 is hit, obviously we're going for that $1.07 mark, and then we're testing our most recent highs at $1.38. So keep an eye on all these indicators over the next week or so. I'd love to know your thoughts on today's analysis down in the comments section below. Unfortunately, not much has gone on from a price perspective, but obviously it is great to see that instead of trending in a downwards direction now, we are trading horizontally and the volume is consolidating for us as well. The indicators are showing we could be in for a potential reversal. So keep a close eye on the MACD for that cross and see we do break out. But yes, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Of course, if you did enjoy today's video, remember to leave a thumbs up 
And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe and turn on those bell notifications. We cover crypto, stocks, investing and wealth management. But I'm going to leave it there for the day, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.